On today's show, we're taking a look at the cutest little desktop printer you've ever seen. Hey, welcome to The First Layer. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here every Wednesday and a Saturday night. Well, today we are taking a look at the cutest little desktop printer that ever has come across my desk, and it is the Monoprice Cadet. This is a printer that Monoprice uh, reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to have a look at. I said, absolutely. This uh, episode is not sponsored by Monoprice, uh, just so that uh, we are all on the up and up. Full disclosure, they did send this to me. They asked me to play with it. I've made some stuff with this. And I got to tell you, my first impressions of this little printer are amazing. For what it is, it is probably your best entry level 3D printer for somebody who is brand spanking new to this and wants to bring their family and get their kids involved. This would be a great little printer to put into education settings, uh, elementary schools, that sort of thing. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what this printer is. This little guy has a great deal of features for what it is. Now, the build plate volume is not very big. So it's roughly about 100 by 100 by 100 cubed. Uh, so it is a fairly small build plate. It is not a heated build plate, but some of the th cool things about this are that it has Wi-Fi built in. It has all of your controls right here up on the top. It has a great little cage that comes down in front of the nozzle when it is printing, so little hands can't get in there. We're gonna show you a little bit of that and how it operates. Um, what else can I tell you about this? It's got USB port on the side. It's got a micro SD card slot right on top, easy to access. Uh, the bill plate is removable. It is sort of a magnetic build plate with uh, a piece of masking tape on top. You could certainly go ahead and change that out for uh, build tack if you wanted to, because it would be a very similar surface. Um, let's take a look quickly at the prints in front of me. So here in front of me, you can see that we've got a few prints. Um, these all, all of these didn't take very long. I think the longest one on here were these uh, birds. And these I sliced myself using the slicing software that comes with the Cadet. We're gonna talk about the accessories that come with it in just a few minutes. Um, but I wanted to show you the quality of these prints. Like they are just absolutely amazing. Um, these are mostly 2 point or 0 0.20 millimeter uh, layer heights. Now I wanted to show you that when you print stock, this is one of their files, this is one of their files, and so are the uh, little, that little ring, cat ear ring there at the bottom. That's one of their files. And when they slice them, they slice them all on a raft. Now, why they slice them all on a raft is beyond me, but I'm gonna show you how you can turn that off in the software as well. So look how easy it is to remove that raft. Like that just came right off. And the cat, the lucky cat is hollow. Now, I decided I wanted to slice um, something for myself and use support. So I did a Marvin keychain. I up. Uh, I upped the size by 200%, um, and we can see just how easy it is to take off that support material and get rid of that raft. Like, that is just nothing. Literally, that is nothing. And if you do run into a problem where you're having a little trouble getting it off the bottom, here's a great trick that I found. You take yourself a little scraper, take yourself your scraper, and if you're having a problem, you just kind of get in there right underneath where you've got that material and try not to uh, jab yourself with this. Let's see if I can get right underneath that corner. There we go. And once you've got that, boom, pops right off and does not damage your model at all. So it just pops right off. I got a little bit of support material between his legs. I'm going to take that out. And the support material comes off really, really easy. Where are my pliers? There they are. Got them right here. So we've got the pliers. We're just going to take off this support material. There we go. Look at that. Snap right off. And we'll just take out this little center spot between his legs. And there we go. There we go. So now we've got a little bit of support material on his face. And we're just going to 
peel that right off. Just get my fingernail up underneath there. We can use our pliers if we want to. And really, I really like this printer. Like, it really works great. There we go. You might have to use your scraper to, or another object to kind of get up underneath there. I probably shouldn't have put so much support material on this. It probably would have been a smarter idea. But you can see it's just coming off just so easily. So you can see how easy it is to clean up the model. There it is. No scarring whatsoever. Um, the other nice thing I like about this, and I'm going to bring over the, uh, the little camera here now. We're going to just pop that in front there. All right, so we're over here at the, the uh, cadet, and you can see there's the build plate. It's not very big. Look how easy this guy comes off. He's already cooled down. He just pops right off. And look, he's almost all ready to, to be taken away. So the build plate itself does come off. It is a fairly thick magnet, as you can see there. Um, it is using a piece of masking tape, but you can use whatever material that you want as a surface. So if you wanted to change that out for a little piece of build tack, you certainly could. Um, you can see that it's got a single lead screw right here. It rides on two rails. And the, the center style here is also uh, hidden from view, so you don't have to uh, worry about uh, getting your belt caught. The whole thing is made from plastic. The interface is really simple to use. You just click the button, go down to selecting your file, pick the file that you want. Uh, we're going to go back and do this uh, ear ring again and watch what happens when this does it. Because it has auto bed leveling, we're going to change camera angles here. So we'll just slide that camera down inside and we'll hit print. You see how that cage is coming down? It is a little bit noisy, I will give it that, but you know what, if you're putting it into a um, small office or you're into a classroom, you're not really going to notice it over um, the noise that you're going to get from the kids that will be in the room playing with it. And this cage is a really cool idea. Now what it's doing is it's doing its auto bed leveling, you saw the little flash there. And there's the final one. And now it's going to continue to heat up and then it's going to start doing a print. All right, so here's the guy that we just took off the build plate. You can see that uh, it's got a little bit of support material. This is the MakerBot that comes with support and they just pop right off. And then he's a fully articulated little robot. Oh, there's a couple left, left right here that I missed, right there on the bottom. We're just going to grab those. We're just going to pop them out of there. There we go. And you hear the machine starting up to start its sprint. And there we go. Now we have a little robot guy that we can make stand up, hopefully. Our little make pot robot. He wants to sit down. He doesn't want to stand up for me. There we go. We got him standing. We got him standing. Nope, he's drunk. <laughs> All right, so we're going to sit him back down. But he's an articulated little guy, so you can play with him. Again, this is the MakerBot robot. Um, I wanted to try something a little bit different with uh, what you're allowed to do on this machine. Uh, and you know what? I think the quality of this print came out absolutely beautiful. I'm really liking it. I'm digging it. All the prints came out great. I'm very, very happy with them. And that little ring is only going to take about five minutes to print. So we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing. You can see that it's printing away here. Uh, just doing one of these little cat earrings. My wife likes them so much, I'm going to print her another one. Uh, what can I say about this? It has great software. The software that comes with it is a very stripped down version of Cura. It looks very similar to Cura. It's called Wee Builder. I'm going to show you that in just a sec. Has full auto bed leveling, wireless Wi Fi, and USB. It is Mac and Windows compatible. Um, the print bed, as I said, is 100 by 105 by 100 millimeters. Comes with a 
or 1.75 millimeter nozzle. This is only designed to print PLA and PLA Pro. So it, uh, don't think that you're gonna be printing other materials in it. PLA and PLA Pro, that's what they recommend for this machine. It does come with a bunch of extra goodies. I'm gonna show you those right away, but uh, it's light, it's compact, it's great for students and beginners, um, and it only takes about 30 seconds and you're up and running. Let's go ahead and have a look at the software. We'll show you the accessories and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, so we're here in the WeBuilder uh, software and I've loaded up a model here. You can see that it's way too big for the bed. And we can go ahead and scale that model down just by clicking into one of these areas here. You can see now that we've got uh, the model highlighted. We're going to click and we are going to scale him down a little bit. We're going to bring him in so that he fits on the bed. There we go. We can make a nice little baby Groot. Now, if we want to, we can also go ahead and turn him. You know, so there's some pretty easy controls. Um, he's now on the bed nice and flat. And we are all set to start printing him. Now, one of the things that you can do is if you want to, you can go ahead and customize your support structures. It's like I said, it's a pretty easy and simple software. Once we're done doing everything that we need, we can go ahead and uh, let's just uh, make sure that we've got uh, everything set to where we want it, high detail. Um, we're okay there. We're going to make sure our material is right. And because we only have one extruder on here, here we are going to say okay. Now there's also a G code editor in here as well. So you can go in and you can actually edit the G code. We're going to say okay. And that will get off of our screen. And then we can go ahead and slice the model. You'll get a dialog box when uh, it's ready to slice. It'll start slicing and it'll tell us how long it's going to take to slice. Now we can go ahead and we can edit G code. We can do a variety of different things. It's a very simple software to use. So it's not going to be very complicated, but the plus side of this is that you can go in and make little changes like if you know about the g code you can make little changes in the g code um, you can see here it's already put that raft underneath for us and it's lifted our baby Groot off and it is now ready to be saved to our sd card and you can see here there's a little save file up the top this is for connecting to your wi-fi and this is for connecting to the printer via usb once you're sliced and ready to go you can send this off to your card Go ahead and uh, start printing your model. And the model that we'd been printing all this time is now done. So let's go over and take a look. All right, so there you go. There's those little cat ears. It didn't take long at all. We were recording the whole time that it uh, was printing. So we don't have uh, a whole lot to do. We just have to pull off this print bed. And I will show you what I'm going to do here. Let's see if we can get that camera in the right spot. There we go. There it is. Watch this. Boom. Done. It's off. There's its purge line. So you know that it's printing properly. Clean that off. Put it back on the bed. You are all set to go. So let's talk about what you get inside the box. Well, you get some really cool stickers, um, which is <laughs> kind of a nice thing. I love stickers. I, you know, I put them on everything. Then you get yourself an extra one uh, actually two extra uh, tape covers to go on top of the bed this is the box for the power supply the nice thing about the power supply is it's got a switch right here so you can turn on and off the printer it's just a little power brick 12 volt power brick they give you tools your sd card and sd card reader as well as a spare nozzle which is kind of nice they give you a usb cable a little bit of filament some glue stick if you need it. And of course, there's your warranty information and everything else that you need inside the box here for the Cadet 3D printer. Now, I got to say, after using this printer for the last few days, 
You guys who watch this show regularly know that I'm not a big fan of little tiny printers. I don't have a, a great love for little tiny printers because I don't use them. Quite plainly, I don't use them. So, but in this case, I got to say that this is well built. It's light. It's easy to use. It has everything you want in a 3D printer, with the exception of having that heated bed. It's got auto bed leveling. It's got safety features. It's got a good, easy to use screen. It's got great software. Everything you could want in a 3D printer is in this little guy. So if you are new to 3D printing, you've been thinking about jumping in because you've got younger kids, but you're not sure because of the, the health hazards and, and you know the potential to burn yourself and that sort of thing, well, this would be one I would definitely recommend to any type of school, any type of brand new to the hobby, family oriented printer, this would be the one I would use. Once you understand how to use 3D printers, then you can graduate up to more complex and maybe kit printers like the Ender 3 perhaps. Uh, but for now, I'm going to give this guy four stars out of five. Just because it is a little small. That's not something that I would normally buy. Um, the one thing I do want to point out is the on the side here, you do have this little gray piece that's sticking out. That is for a spool. That is their spool holder. Um, it is quite small. It doesn't fit a regular size spool. It only fits about a 200 gram size spool. So you may want to get yourself a spool holder. And that, you know, those little things like that are what kind of Brought it down from the 5 out of 5 for me. But it got a 4.5 out of 5 hot ends. And I'm going to recommend this to you if you are brand new or you were looking for something to put into your educational institution. Definitely check out the Monoprice Cadet on Monoprice's website. There will be a link down below to Monoprice's website where you can get this. It is selling for, in the U.S., $249.99 and $338 here in Canada. So with that said, my friends, thank you for joining me today. I really want to uh, tell you that we've got some great shows still coming your way this week. Uh, thanks to my lovely wife who was uh, helping me out with this video. She loves this printer. She wants to put it on her desk. So we're going to let her do that. She can print little things that she wants to print. Uh, now all I have to do is get her her own filament. <laughs> so um, go ahead and check out our Facebook page. You can find us on Instagram as well. There's always links down below. If you want to get yourself some swag like I'm wearing today, go and check out our store, which will be launching soon. It is called shopthefirstlayer.com. You'll be able to get t-shirts over there. Eventually, you'll be able to get some of our ebooks, and uh, we are launching a few other things which are going to be coming up very soon. But for now, thanks to Monoprice for sending this out. Uh, I really had a lot of fun playing with this little printer, and uh, I'm going to see you guys next time. On right here on the first layer. Remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print.